Hello, it's Chris from My Stamp Lady. I'm glad to have you here. I'm excited to show you this reversible cup stamp set. This is a new idea from Stampin' Up! It was introduced in our current holiday catalog and it's on page 34. And you can see that there are two dies and you can reverse those images. And it comes with some very fun accessories for that. If you don't currently have a demonstrator, be sure to contact me to get one of these catalogs. Okay, so here's the card. We've got the two cups the one, both of these cups are made from the one image. So this reversible image is flat on both sides so that you can stamp with both sides and all you have to do is reverse it. Stamp it that way or flip it over and stamp it this way. So this is the direction that I've got my cherry cobbler cup and then if I flip it over this is the direction I got the shaded spruce cup. And then I'm also going to show you a little trick with the ribbon here and with the snowfall pu accent puff paint. Oh, a lot of fun going on. So it's the cup of Christmas bundle and the coordinating cup of cheer dies. Okay, so we're going to start out with, I have the wrapped in plaid paper. And all I have to do with this paper is put it on the card base. So just going to put this right on the card front. This is a piece of thick whisper white cardstock that is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and folded. I like the thick whisper white for the card base because it's a nice weight. So I've taken that wrapped in plaid and I've just covered the entire front. Let's work on those cups. I've pulled in that stamp and pierce pad because this is a photopolymer stamp set and if you give yourself that little cushion on the back, you're going to get a better image. Since I have my cup facing this direction, that means I'm going to do my shaded spruce first. There's quite a bit of surface area with this image, so you want to make sure you have some nice good coverage. Now I'm going to clean this off and then I will be right back. Okay, I've cleaned that off. I'm flipping it over so that now I can get the, my handle on the other side to do a cherry cobbler cup. Now, one thing about um, the red inks, they do stain photopolymer. It's not gonna wreck it at all, but it does stain it, so I would recommend you clean it off as soon as possible. The die set comes with the two cup images, two cup dies, I mean, so that you can cut out your image in both directions. And I can do that at one time. And I'm just going to get my platform with the acrylic plate on it, place that on there, and then I can run this through the big shot. Okay, so I have my two cups and I can set them aside for right now. I'm gonna pull in another piece of Whisper White cardstock and with the sweet Christmas wishes. I'm going to stamp that onto that Whisper White, and that's in Cherry Cobbler. I am using one of the circles, layering circles dies. These are wonderful dies to have on hand. Yeah. You will find yourself using those dies over and over. Now with the shaded spruce, I have the little holly and berries, and I'm just going to stamp that up there to fill in that space. I could set that aside. I've already gone ahead and cut out a cardstock mat from that layering circles. I'm just gonna place that down right on there. And I could set that aside. So another one of the die sets that I love and use all the time are my stitched rectangles. They are sized to be some nice, to be card fronts. So they're sized to work really well as layers. So I've cut out this piece of crumb cake and I put some adhesive on the back and I'm going to mat that with a piece of cherry cobbler. And I like that little extra that stitching gives there. Okay, so now I want to put my cups down and put this snowfall, the puff paint for whipped cream background. I'm just putting some adhesive on my candy cane that I've already cut out. Got that cherry cobbler on the back of that. Let's put some adhesive on the back of my cup and I'm going to put that candy cane peeking out of my shaded spruce cup. Let's put some adhesive on the back of this cup. And I'm going to place that about right there. And let's put some adhesive on the back of this cup. 
and let's put the other cup up and over a little bit. So now I can put my whipped cream on there. We are going through a lot of hot chocolate at our house right now. My boys just absolutely love it. They would love if I had whipped cream for them all the time, but they get to just have hot chocolate. But for this card, we're gonna add, because this puff paint is so much fun, we're going to add some of the puff paint. So I, you wanna shake it up really well. And you don't need to squeeze too hard or you're gonna get too much coming out, but you're going to just put down a whipped cream shape and then I'm going to heat set that. You do wanna make sure it's shaken because you want to make sure you can see it kind of white and cloudy. If you can't see it white and cloudy, you're not gonna get the puff. If you have any areas like I did there because the puff kind of got blown around, just shake it up, add a little bit more right in there, and then heat that up. Okay, so there's that one. It's going to go ahead and put some whipped cream on my other one. So now I can mount this onto the back of my card front. Now I'm not going to put a lot of adhesive down over where that whipped cream is because it'll squish. So I'm going to kind of Try to go around it, there we go. Let's bring in that card front and placing that right on the front here. I decided I needed a little bit, so this is gonna slide right in there, and then I decided I wanted a little bit more. I pulled in this white ribbon, and it was a bit wider than I wanted. You certainly could go with that, that's fine. You can go with that, but I decided I wanted it a bit narrower, so I just trimmed off the three I trimmed off just, you know, maybe about a quarter of an inch of it off the side. Just a warning when you do do this, you there is something that is sealing that edge that I cut off. So you don't want to be too rough with it or you will pull apart your ribbon. So what I did instead is I took mini glue dots and just put them kind of across the front where I wanted my ribbon. And then I set it on top of it because otherwise you're gonna rip apart that ribbon. So there we go, just put that down. And now I have a narrower piece of the white ribbon. You can find the list of all the supplies I'm using down in the YouTube description or on my blog. So, oh, I wanna put this down. And I just realized I forgot to color in my holly. So I did pull a little bit, I pulled a couple of the Stampin' Blends to color those. So this is the light shaded spruce, the cherry cobbler. There we go, so I added that. I like that with that colored on there. I decided to pull in a little bit of linen thread to finish off this sentiment. So I just tied it into a little bow and then I will take a, a, a just a drop of the liquid glue set that on there and let that dry on there. I will be posting another video on Friday with Christmas tags, so be sure to come back and subscribe if you'd like to be notified that I have posted it. Stay tuned for more videos.